Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, Junie's Tech here. So, today we are looking at a microphone, but not just any microphone, we are looking at the... We'll get there in a minute. The Tona Orica 001 USB microphone. So what we're gonna be doing in today's video is doing a full unboxing, showing you what you get in the box as well as doing a full audio test. So this should be interesting. So let's waste no more time, let's just get straight into it. So, like I said, what we're going to do is just get everything on box, see what we get, and we'll go from there. So, just starting off, we do get this little handy-dandy user manual, just going to tell you everything about a quick start, as well as all the buttons and pretty much what they do. We do get a little adapter here. What this is going to allow you to do, instead of using the base stand that comes with the, uh, with the microphone, it's going to allow you to use it with a boom arm, which is quite cool. We do get a braided cable, which is USB to USB Type-C to USB Type-A. Oh, no, sorry. So it is USB Type-C, as we can see there, USB Type-C, but it is also USB Type-C to USB Type-C. That's quite cool. It gives you this little adapter so you can use it with USB Type-A if you don't have the availability for USB Type-C, which is pretty cool. So first of all, looking at the microphone, it is definitely different to what I've reviewed in the past. Obviously, it does come already built up, which is quite handy for people that, you know, not really tech savvy if you want to call it they don't understand fully they just want a microphone they can get out plug in they're good to go and that's essentially what this is so i'll put that to one side it is quite cool that they do give you a usb type c to type c cable but it does come with a little adapter just right there little adapter there so you can either use it with a usb or the usb type c which is quite cool because not all like if you're going to use it with a pc for instance not all pcs have usb type c slots um it's more like the up-to-date ones, I suppose. Some of the older ones or some of the new ones coming in are quite cool. So I'm gonna get this plugged in first so we can actually see this powered on. Get the USB Type-C plugged in and then plugs in at the bottom. So as we can see on the bottom here, we do have a USB port, USB Type-C port, as well as a little uh, three and a half mil jack, 3.5 mil jack. If you don't know what that is, that is pretty much allowing you to monitor the microphone. And what that essentially is, is if you've got the microphone here, you plug in your headset, if you're using it and it's turned on, it allows you to hear your own voice that you're basically protruding through the microphone, which is quite handy. So I've got it plugged in. As soon as you've got it plugged in, you do this, get this little LED indicator, which we'll go through in a second. We do have on the top a little touch panel, which allows you to mute and unmute your microphone. As you click it, the LED indicator turns off. Click it again, turns back on. Now, this little button on the bottom, when you click it, it turns red. What this is, is allows you, if your ambient noise is too loud, for instance, if your gaming PC fans are very loud or, you know, you've got background noise or anything like this, what it allows you to do is click this button and it activates a filter for like noise cancellation and noise reduction technology, which is really cool. I have to admit, I like the fact they've already built that in. So again, if you're not tech savvy, you just want a microphone, you want to get out the box and use, this is going to be quite handy. So that I do like. Then again, if you are like more into tech and all that, and obviously I'm gonna be using this for OBS Studio, you can add filters and all that good stuff to make it sound better or to make it sound for what you want, which is quite cool. Now above that, we do have two other little buttons. Now what this is is your volume level. So as I start to turn it down, if I turn it all the way down, the LED indicator turns off, just means that there's no noise protruding through. But as I turn it up, level one will be white. And as I turn it up, the color does change. As we see, we've got green, orange, all the way to red. So if you are gaming, streaming, you kick off in the night, drop back in, you can be like, right, I was recording with noise reduction on, and then I was on level green, which is quite handy because then again, you know you're never going to go wrong with your volume. It's always going to be there, which definitely is really cool. So like I said, it does come off on the back here. There is a little, little spindle here. What you do is that comes off. You replace it with this little guy, and then it does have a thread. I think that's a quarter inch, might be a quarter inch, half inch thread on the back. What this allows you to do is use it with a boom arm. So instead of having to use it on the actual stand, um, you can use it with a boom arm, which is quite handy. It does state in the instructions, the best way to use this is to have it to, as close to your face as possible and around 15 to 20 centimeters. So if I've got it placed right in front of me, I'm gaming, you know, it's not in massively in the way. If I've got my keyboard here, my mouse here, it's not gonna be in the way. But what it allows me to do is just fully tilt this up, down, depending on where I am, depending on the level of the desk, like this desk I'm using here, does move up and down. So I'm at an advantage where I can move that. But if your desk is sat stationary and you can't move it, this allows you to move it around like that, which is quite cool. 
Then again, if you do have it on a boom arm, it might be a little bit easier to actually control. So what we need to do is we need to do an audio test. So currently using the NTG2 Rode microphone, but a shotgun microphone. So what I need to do is swap them around and actually start using this one. So I'll do that now. Right, so like I said, we do have the ambient sound off. And I don't know if you can, but you can hear the fans in the background as well as some other things. So like scratching on the desk, you can hear of a slightly tap it, you know, if I don't need to, you can hear it. But if I do click the noise reduction button, it's pretty much all gone. So what it's what it's basically doing is that it'll have an attention or an attenuation or anything like that. So it'll only start recording as I start talking at a certain level. Um, I don't know what it's set to. So you can do it manually through OBS Studios or if you've got like the same mini Go XLR or a Go XLR with other microphones, you can do it. So like if they run on XLR, you can do that because that's what I do. So you can set a release in and a release out. So when the microphone will hear your voice. So I think that's why they tell you to have the microphone as close to you as possible. Because I don't know if you can hear as I'm talking, it is starting to cut out. So the softer I talk, it's not going to actually release. But obviously the louder I talk, then it'll release a lot quicker. Or you can just turn the volume up. So I'm currently on volume red. So this is as loud as it goes. Or if I go all the way down to the bottom. So this is level one volume. So it's not the loudest, obviously. But it all depends on pretty much what you're doing. So... If you're just in game playing and you want people to be able to hear you, it depends all on that. I'll go back to green. But if I think it came to the point of like using this for dedicated YouTube videos, like say tutorials, it probably wouldn't be the worst thing to use. Uh, especially if you use it on a boom arm, obviously having it here is probably not a good idea. But if you do have it a boom arm and you're doing, um, I don't know, podcasts or YouTube reviews or just purely for gaming or streaming... It really is an excellent microphone because the thing is, if you are gaming and you know you're playing with your friends, and all of a sudden you're playing with randomers, you can just and you're pretty much good to go. Tap the mute button, tap it on, tap it off, and you're pretty much all right. But I have to admit, I do like the noise reduction because as soon as I stop talking, there's nothing. I'm hearing it through the headphones in the moment, just so I can get a a glimpse of what it's like while I'm talking to you guys as well. And I have to admit, I really do like it. It is extremely responsive. The sound quality alone already, and mind this is with zero filters. I've got nothing on at the moment. It was just simply just connected an audio device. The only filter I'm using is the one built into the microphone, which is the noise reduction. Everything else is pretty much standard and stock. So yeah, I have to admit, really, really enjoyed the microphone. So if you do have any questions or anything regarding this microphone, please do drop it down in the comment section below. I'm always more than happy to help if you have any struggles or if you want to know a little bit more about it. Like I said, just drop them down in the comment section below. In the description, there will be a link there for this microphone, so you can go check it out for yourself by all means. But in the end of the day, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And as always, I hope you have an amazing day.